Jessica and Leah and we just want to come on here and give a big thank you to all the for all the well wishes and all the support you guys gave us this week um, for not just us but a lot of Texans here it was a rough week and still is currently and a lot of people don't really realize how tough of a situation a lot of people were in they were just like oh you guys just got one and a half like two inches of snow like y'all will be fine well that was supposed to be the case uh, we were all excited for a snow day on Monday, um, which we actually did get, and we actually filmed a video the day before on Valentine's Day, and we'll be showing you that later, but we just wanted to come on here and explain what happened right after that video. So we went to the hairdresser on Sunday, and it was a fun video, and we were excited for the next day for a snow day, but things went downhill really fast. So after we filmed that video, we kind of got home and we were getting ready and already that night it started sleeting and we were just so excited. Um, my mom was preparing us that night. She's like, charge everything, preserve the lights, like we're probably going to lose power. Everyone's going to say that we're going to lose power. And I didn't really exactly take it seriously because we used to live in Illinois and we got snow days all the time and we never really lost power. And you know, thinking living in Texas, pe like power companies would be prepared for it, right? Yeah, no. We lost power at 2 in the morning that night, and my mom actually woke me up at like 4.30 in the morning, and then I couldn't sleep after. Leah woke up like way later. Yeah, my mom came into my room at like 4, and she was like, um, are you cold or anything? The power is out. Like, yeah. And I was just like, so, what? I'm fine. Like, so, we were like the first, one of the first ones to lose power, and... Already at 4.30, I came downstairs because there was like snow outside and I was so excited. But coming downstairs, it was like cold and the house was already starting to get much colder. And we were constantly thinking about the bearded dragons because they obviously need, he need heat and light. And we were not getting that. It like, was very cold. Thank and God we have a generator because yeah. they so, wouldn't have light. So since 4.30, I was downstairs, and then at around 7, 8, it was time to turn on their lights, except we didn't have anything to turn on their lights with. Like, the power was out, and so we have a small generator, and that generator, we only, we still have the cords. We only had it to plug into our Bearded Dragon tanks, and that's, like, all we used it for. We couldn't use it for, uh, like, the heat or anything, because it was a really small generator, so we just use it the best we could and use it for our beer. The jackets. wires are all around the house, yeah. like literally. And still, uh, their temperatures weren't the best, they but it's like the best 80, we could 90. do. Um, so all day Monday, it was like a fun snow day because there was snow obviously and it's been a while since we've had that here and been there and been in snow in general. So. Every hour we would go outside and yeah. over and over. But it also wasn't that great because we would come in expecting like to warm up but it was like it just stayed the same yeah so we were sitting by the fireplace a lot we had to pull in our ma um, our parents mattress from their room and we had to right sleep next, next to the fireplace yeah next to the fireplace so we could sleep because up here especially my room was freezing cold like that night it was 60 degrees in my room oh and we had to bring the bunnies downstairs because they would literally freeze it was yeah. like 50 degrees they in were shivering room. it was like 60 up here that night and then the next day Still no power. We were expecting the power to come back on, but it didn't, and that day it dropped down even lower. Up here in my room, it was like 50 degrees. Downstairs, it was like 55, 56, so it was very cold, and we were like all, we were all day gloves, we were, like we were sweaters. layered. We were like layered, so many layers, and a hat and everything, pants, like layers of pants it was so cold and then my worst nightmare we lost cell service and internet yeah we already didn't have cell service monday or tuesday and tuesday was a day that they started saying that people were going to start losing water on top of that and that was pretty scary because you know no one wants to lose water and people's pipes were bursting too because of the cold it was all just a crazy situation and then everyone was saying like oh you guys are overreacting it's just two inches of snow like blah 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 or like five inches snow. It's like they didn't, people in the north like didn't think it was a big deal because they're used to it, but they're also not experiencing so many power outages, power outages across and 
losing water and pipes burst. It, bur burst. And I can't talk. <laughs> no one was prepared for like the snow yeah. and all the bursts and the power yeah. outages. No like dust. no one was no prepared. Yeah, we were we were using the generator for our bearded dragon tanks and the refrigerators and the refrigerators. But that's about it. And the gas was starting to go out and all the propane and stuff. So. My dad would go to the gas station. There was like literally nothing. Everyone was, everything was so sold out. It was all a crazy mess, and no, no water. One, yeah, no water, no nothing, no food. Everything was so chaotic, and everyone was so unprepared. Yeah, it was just a whole crazy mess. But and people still don't have like um, food or water. Yeah, it's like everything was sold out. Like my mom went to the grocery store. Or our mom went to the grocery store and there was literally nothing. I know. And people's pipes were bursting and houses were flooding and especially with the freezing temperatures, like they would have ice skating rings in their house. No. <laughs> no school. Yeah. Our school got canceled for the whole week. We already had Monday off because it was President's Day and the whole other week was Yeah, the, this whole week it's Friday right now, so we don't have school. Next, our, the schools got severe water damage and power outages are still going. We actually got our power back, like, Tuesday it was going. On Wednesday. Yeah, we got power fully back on Wednesday. And then we didn't lose power since, which is really good. Because we lost once at night. Yeah, we did. On Wednesday. Uh, yeah. yeah, but, you know, it's better... Than nothing. I mean, we are glad we have power now because another night without power, it would have dropped down to the 40s, 30s in our house, and that would have been terrible. And, and it's still like super cold outside. It's like 20, yeah, 30 degrees. I know. So things are slowly getting back to normal, but still, for a lot of people, still a lot of people don't have power or water or good drinking water, and food is completely out in the grocery stores. And not to mention, if you even wanted to go out to the grocery stores, the the, the road street is filled like with ice, and it was it was like black ice, so there were you can some really see car wrecks, and it was pretty bad. Uh, we just wanted to come on here and explain that because we didn't just want to give you guys a video from Sunday and not address anything that happened throughout the week. So we kind of wanted to give you guys a backstory to everything that happened and we just want to thank you so much again for all the support you guys brought to gave to us and there are still a lot of people without power so we're just hoping that you guys um, you know get power back and stay warm and hope everything goes better for you guys and we're going to be showing you guys a video. This was a very long beginning, but a lot happened. So we kind of just wanted to talk about that. And now we're going to give you guys the hairdresser video. And <laughs> that really one, that's going to lighten the mood a little bit. And my hair right now is a mess because I haven't washed it. I, ha I have washed it, but like not recently. So it's I have it up like this. So. But it looks a lot better in the video, trust me. And you'll see how amazing our hairdresser did. So. We're going to be showing you all the footage now and hope you guys enjoy the video. And let us know what you guys thought of our hair. Did you think it was like a glow up or what did you guys think? A glow down. Definitely not a glow down. The hair was amazing. So, we hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry I was talking so much. But thank you guys again so, so, so much and enjoy the footage. Love Bye. you. And Leah. And we are at the hair salon and we are actually going to be getting something different with our hair. And uh, we're not going to say what yet, but it's going to be pretty exciting. So make sure to stay tuned to see what we actually do. And I'm really excited. Can you t make any guesses on what we're going to do with our hair? leave your guesses and then stay tuned to see what we actually do and we're super excited we're parked in front of the nail salon and we're about to go in so i just realized there's still some red in my hair yeah on the bottom line it's still a little bit tinted i was looking in the shower yeah it's still tinted but i like it it looks like nothing anyways we are going in right now and we will see you guys in the hair salon when we're doing something to our hair <laughs> it's okay.
Miss Elaine just finished dyeing my hair and I look crazy right now. Like, mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited for the results because, like, I'm getting um, highlights and I'm really excited. Francesca, your turn. Okay, good luck. Um, so it's my turn to get my hair done now. And I have a really cool style right now. So. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is like yeah this is like before and we're gonna see you guys after mm -hmm. okay so i just finished getting the color on and now i'm gonna wait a bit and while i was getting my hair done leah's hair is i guess done drying plastic i don't know what it's called <laughs> so leah's gonna get her little foil ribs and i'm gonna go wait so it's the full look for nails. And good luck, Leah. Wow, look at that. Mm. And we got some nails done. Sure enough. <laughs> I'm having a full makeover. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm shaking. <laughs> well, um, I just washed my hair. It's so cute. I'm gonna get my uh, hair to right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right now I'm going to have the roots a bit darker, more like Leah's color, uh, Leah's version of color. So it's going to be blonde, just a little bit darker so you can see more of the volume and like the fading going down. So we're doing that right now. Okay, so Leah is also getting a little haircut. I think she's eating out, eating out some layers or something. What is she doing? Getting layers. Yeah. So she's going to be done pretty soon. After that, she's going to like dry her hair and I think she's going to I'm probably going to curl mine at the end. But yeah, I have the darkening thing on my roof. And it's only going to darken a little bit just to make the blonde stand out more. So yeah, we're good. I'm about to get my hair washed again to get this out. All right, guys. Here's the reveal. This took so long, it but took, it like, was so four. worth it. Look at it. It's so pretty, and the curls and the color. This is perfect, and it's like the perfect way to spend Valentine's Day. 
I'm I'm officially so a blonde. I'm officially a blondie. And it literally looks like a wig. <laughs> it looks uh, so different. Looks Mine just got a little bit lighter and a little bit darker at the top. We so, got Doritos. Yeah. So, um, basically, this is a huge change. Well, not like huge, but the curls, and I've never had really curls. And Leah got her nails done. And everything, it's like the perfect way to spend Valentine's Day. So, let us know down below if you were expecting this and what you think about our hair. Because we literally love it. Like, it's so nice. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this transformation was insane. But it, it was so worth it. So, let us know what you guys think. And that'll be the end for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like. And happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Love you.